Hi beauties, we're back again. Cause I keep disappearing, I'm so sorry. I, I miss you guys and I'm just an absolute disaster right now and there's no other excuse for why I'm taking so long to film things. We're actually, this is exciting, we're doing our very first tutorial in the house today. So this is our first tutorial in the new studio. I have done my makeup uh, when I rarely do my makeup. I'm gonna be tangent. I'm gonna be honest, that's partially why I'm not filming regularly is because I'm literally doing makeup like once a week. And because of that, I've kind of become like absolute terribly garbage at makeup. I mean, I wasn't great to start with, but it's like getting rough. So we're gonna bear, bear with me on this one. So yeah, this is our first, we're, you know, inaugurating the studio in terms of tutorials. We've done unboxings obviously, but I'm excited about this one. I, I really haven't been buying much makeup aside from my subscription boxes anyway. Like this was, this particular purchase was the first one I put in at Ulta and actually Nikki ran in and grabbed it for me in person like a couple weekends ago because we had gift cards that I couldn't use online for some reason. Um, so yeah, I didn't know about it until I was just like casually scrolling and I was like, wait a minute, there's a new Naked palette. Urban Decay put it on, out new let's rewind that. Urban Decay put out a new Naked palette. I didn't know about it. And then I discovered it randomly on the internet and said, I need to own that. So that's how that happened. Uh, it is the Naked uh, Wild West palette. And I absolutely love this. If you guys uh, have been with the channel, you know, I think they've released a couple naked palettes since I've been doing the channel and I've gotten reviewed them. Um, I have a very strong affinity for this particular collection. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's necessarily that it's like the best collection out there, but it was like the, the Naked 2 is the first high-end palette I ever got. I got it as a present uh, in my sophomore year of college and I just absolutely am obsessed uh, because of that nostalgia, I think. But their later palettes I've actually really enjoyed and um, this particular one I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I've actually been doing a little bit more blues lately, I think since I dyed my hair blue, which is now like faded green. Uh, after two weeks, it just washed right out, even though I was trying really hard not to, but what are you gonna do? So I've been doing a lot more blues lately. I'm pretty excited about this one, but I'm actually probably only gonna use a little bit of blue just on my under eye today. What I'm thinking for this palette, I'm thinking we're gonna go in on the lid with Laredo, which is this kind of like brownie, light, like mauve purple shade. I don't know, I just threw out like eight different words that probably don't actually mean anything, whatever. You guys can see it. It's like a little bit brown, but there's like a touch of purple to it. And then I'm gonna probably darken the corners with Pony Up, which is a slightly darker purple shade. Uh, I'm gonna blend out most likely with Spur, which is this one right here, and then um, probably blend that out even a little bit more with, st uh, yeah, standoff, which is the lightest shade. And I'm thinking for my, I'm gonna do like a, like a kind of like a halo effect on the middle. Probably gonna use the gold. I think that's gonna look really pretty with those colors. And I'm thinking I actually, which is Hold'em, that's the name of that one. And I think I'm gonna go in with uh, Bud. We got Tex and Bud. Those are the two blue shades in the palette on the under eye. I'm thinking I'm gonna do Bud actually, even though it's a little bit glittery. Um, I think it might look cool. We may do a little mix of both just for, just for fun, you know, whatever. We make the rules here, we do what we want. So that's the game plan for today. Uh, I am gonna use their little brush. I always give you a little brush with the Naked palettes. Not necessarily my favorite brushes, but um, it's clean, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. What are we gonna talk about today? Well, the answer is, since it is the Wild West palette, this video is just gonna be wild. I'm just gonna throw things at you guys because there's a lot that I have that we could talk about. And I think this video is gonna be particularly helpful if I just kind of like bring up some topics and give you like a, base of it and then ask you guys what you would like to hear more about. I know I'm bad at answering comments. I read all your comments and I love them and I love that you guys comment. So this one I'm gonna actually like really ask if you guys have like any, if you're like, oh yeah, I really wanna hear you guys or you talk about this, then I'll do a tutorial where I talk about that. Cause I just have so much going on in my brain right now. It's like hard to even come up with like, what should I talk about? Uh, yeah, let's jump in. Let's jump into this, starting with Laredo. Let's, let's diddly do this. First topic. I wanna talk about. Well, obviously we never talked about the house. So if you guys wanna hear about the moving story of the house, it's been a little while, so it's probably gonna be a little bit like foggy. I remember the basis of like, we almost didn't get to move in on the day that we closed. That was just a stressful story. And then the actual like process of moving in was like, obviously it's stressful cause it's, it's not fun. But I mean, there's like, there's a couple cool things that happened. A couple fun little moments that occurred. Um, my mom gave my dog alcohol by mistake, she thought it was water, but it was gin. That was fun, that was fun, that was New Year's Eve. But yeah, so if you guys wanna hear more about that, uh, definitely. I talked so much about like building up to the house cause it's like all I was thinking about. So now that we're in it, I'm like, you guys are probably like tired of hearing about it. 
but if you want to, I'll throw it out there. The, the next thing, I don't know. So I saw TikTok. Most of most of my time is spent on the TikToks now, if I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. Um, I wanna make TikToks, but I just don't know. I think I'm funny, but I don't know if I'm that, I don't know if I'm TikTok funny. I don't know. I keep telling Nikki, like, look into it. And he's like, I will. But he's also doing 8,000 things right now. Like he's, God love him, he's busy as shit. That, that didn't mean it. That didn't, that wasn't necessary to throw in there. I just have been thinking about also making TikTok videos uh, more than like the couple that I filmed on my crappy phone. Most of my information comes from TikTok. Tangent, tangent on a tangent on a tangent. Uh, Laredo, really like how that applied. Very beautiful, really nice shade, very, very much matches like the kind of like the color of my scarf. Really big fan of it. It applied really nicely, not really patchy at all. Big, big fan. I feel like, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this is a nice, this is one of the newer Naked palettes that I feel like is genuinely closer to like a naked or a neutral palette that a lot of people could get a good use out of. Of course, it's got like the blues and the pops of blue, it's, but it's just, I mean, overall, there's a lot of really pretty brown tones. And then you've got some really solid uh, glitter shades in there, but a lot of mattes. It's very heavy on the mattes. And I feel like lately we've seen um, palettes that they've been producing in the Naked collection that have had a lot of glitter pigments in them, like almost 50% or more are glitter, glitter pigments, which is not really what I look for because I think that you're gonna build, a, normally you're gonna build a base of an eyeshadow look on mattes and then highlight it with the glitter. So I'm a big fan of this one. I think I think that we're gonna really like how this one ends up turning out. But once again, a tangent on a tangent. But I guess the topic is makeup, so it's not really a tangent. It's like coming back to the topic, whatever. Okay, so back to TikTok. So yeah, so when we first moved into the house, I started having like severe nightmares, like all the time, like really, really graphic ones. They were honestly pretty upsetting. I would wake up and Nikki would like, cause you guys know I work in the middle of the night. So obviously I'm sleeping weird hours and I would lay down cause you know, now I'm responsible for cooking dinners every night, which I love, but also I hate. Um, so I wouldn't, I, sometimes, you know, at, when I was staying with my parents, when we were staying with my parents, sometimes I'd go to bed at like three or four and I'd skip dinner. And now I'm like, I can't really do that. So I'm normally going to bed around like six or 6.30. I try and have dinner done like right at five, like lay down like six or 6.30 and then I get up and go to work. I'm trying to be there at like, 10 or 10 30 so i'll leave at like 9 45 so i get up at like 9. so for those like three hours that i'm laying down when we first like all pretty much all of january into february i was having awful nightmares i mean like really bad nightmares ones that i was really really remembering and i i dream normally pretty vividly um and i have been recently but uh Normally I forget them and these nightmares were so bad that like it's been weeks since I've had them and I still remember like a bulk of what they were about. So if you guys want to hear, I've told you guys about my dreams in the past, um, I know. So if you guys want to hear about those, uh, I think it might be an interesting one, but I'm also like, I don't think you guys, I'm not positive you guys care about that. So if you do want to hear about my awful nightmares, yeah, I'll share them. Cause they're like, they were like horror movie level. Like I watched people die violently in a lot of them. And it was, uh, people were like coming after me and Nikki got shot in one. It was, it was rough. Um, but I, I bring up TikTok because like after, after all like months of having dreams or whatever, um, I saw a TikTok that was like, is anybody else experiencing this in 2021? And they like sent out a list of things. And one of them was super vivid nightmares. And I was like, oh, cause I was, I instinctually I associated with, like, oh, I'm in a new spot. And like, I don't get bad vibes in the house. Cause let me tell you, if I felt like there was something evil here or it was haunted or something like that, and uh, it was gonna endanger us, we would be out of here. I don't care. We would default on our mortgage. We would sell it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not living with ghosts. I've done it before. I'm not doing it anymore. I was like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't get bad vibes in the house. Like I don't feel unsafe in the house, but like maybe it is just that I'm in a new area and like, it's causing me to have nightmare. I don't know, I don't know what it is. And Nikki's like, yeah, that's super weird. Cause he doesn't get bad vibes in the house either. And he's like, I mean, I definitely think he'd pick up on it first, but I think I'd probably be able to tell. And I was like, oh yeah, I think so. So we kind of talked about it and he's like, it's just super weird. And I was like, yeah, it is. They have kind of subsided. Um, like they're not as bad. They're still, I, my dreams are still pretty vivid, um, but I'm not really remembering them. So even if they are, I guess, nightmares, that like they're not bad enough that I'm like the next day, like thinking about it, like, like I was, cause I, I really was like pretty bad. Um, so yeah, if you wanna hear about, there were, there were three that were really intense. If you wanna hear about those, 
If you don't, I don't care. <laughs> That's fine, I don't have to tell you. But they were, I mean, yeah, they were wild. So there's that, that's an option. Um, also, I've been watching a lot of true crime lately at work. You know, I'm definitely very fascinated with true crime. I don't necessarily like wanna do like, oh, me like do like what ba Bailey Syrian does, cause I don't wanna like take her shtick. But I do think it would be interesting to just talk about some of the things that I've noticed with true crime and things that I think are stupid that people do when they are committing crimes. That might be an interesting topic. I don't know. Or you guys could not care about that either. Or you could be like, what are you planning a crime? I'm not, B but I've got some interesting things to say about it. The gist of it, one of the biggest things, I don't understand people who murder their spouses. One, cause you never do it well. Their story's always so stupid. Their alibis are so stupid. Like it's just, I've not, I've not ever seen a good one. They're like, oh, it was a burglary. But like, it just, they just dump, like they just dump a trash can over. What burglar is going through your trash can? Nobody, there's no good shit in your trash can. I'm sorry. Like, it's just so, it's so ridiculous. And they don't take anything. They don't, you're gonna kill your husband. You might as well take some stuff too and claim insurance on it. You, what is insurance fraud? You committed murder, like, and normally it's for insurance mer money, which is insurance fraud anyway. So like, what, like what, I don't under, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get your logic. It's like you do all this planning to commit a murder, and then you're like, I'm gonna make this great alibi, and then your alibi is like got more holes than an, I don't know, like a sifter. I don't know. It's just, it's insane. It's insane. Anyway, so that's it. But, but that's you know, I don't want to get too deep in this topic because then I won't have anything to talk about if you guys want to hear my my hot takes on it. Um, but like, I just don't like, I, it's, I think it's more of like, I just find it really sad that people are like willing to kill their spouse who they've like established a life with and have children with uh, for insurance money. Because Nikki and I have both talked about it. Like we, ha we are really codependent, like unhealthily codependent. And so like, if one of us were to die suddenly, the other one's screwed. Like I, I can't do half the shit in this house. Like I tech stuff, I don't know, edit, the channel would be done. Who the hell is gonna edit the videos? It's not gonna be me. Maybe I could make my brother learn how to edit, but he's not gonna wanna do that. He's got his own life to live. So now, like, this is just over. Like I'm, I'm done, it's done. Like if I die, obviously the channel's over too because Nikki's not gonna get in front of the camera. And that's just the channel. I mean, like that's not even talking about like anything else in the house. And then like, all we do is hang out with each other. And it's like all we wanna do is like hang out with each other. So I'm just, it makes me so sad to think like there are people out there that like hate who they're around so much that they're willing to like murder them for some insurance money or, you know, I don't know. I guess that's like, I guess we have a weird relationship. It's, it's I know it's not good, you know, putting all our eggs in one basket here. Cause if, like I said, if one of us happens to croak early, not through any foul play, just like, it's, it's weird, you, you get older and you start thinking, like when I was younger, I didn't really, I was like, I probably, I probably die young, but I didn't really think about it. And now I'm like, I actively think about like, what happens if I just die? I guess that's what it's like when you're close to 30. I guess you start thinking about that more or I'm just really messed up. I don't know, one of the two. Let me know down below, what do you think? <laughs> so, uh, so that's another topic that I have a lot of, uh, a lot of, I think interesting things to not, not add to the, I mean, everybody talks about true crime, but I just like, there's some, you know, some things that I, I, I'm, that fascinate me that I think might be fascinating to talk about on the channel. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's one. I am going to, uh, to now tangent into, uh, some like products that I've picked up. I'm, I've got them to show you guys. I don't know if you can see them. There's like a bunch of like crap. There's some products I'm gonna show you guys. Um, just because I didn't want to do like a haul or like a, about it, you know, I don't, I didn't, I didn't want to do a haul because it's not that much stuff. And it's like, I don't know. I was just going to kind of like pop them up in here and be like, I got this. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, <laughs> this video is a mess. I'm so sorry. I am really liking what's going on with the eye though. I haven't talked about that in a hot second. This is really turning out very, very pretty, um, which I'm glad about because I was super worried that it was going to look like because I haven't uh, done makeup in a hot minute. It was like last, today's Friday. It was last Friday when I did makeup. Um, I just, I just don't, I do make up like Fridays. So that Friday into my weekend when I'm off Saturday, I feel like I look decent instead of just looking like a homeless person. I walk around the house, just like, ha like hair's not done, like freshly washed. So it just like air dries and it looks all crappy. And then I'm just like, <sighs> like a gremlin. It's, it's terrifying. Uh, so yeah, so one of the things, one of the things I have been struggling with really, really badly recently is um, super dry skin. My scalp is really bad. Like my dandruff is crazy. Uh, 
I've got this patch that just like won't heal. So I've been using, I will say, a product I've been using pretty regularly, I'm super obsessed with it, really like what it's doing, is the um, like the Ultra Repair from First Aid Beauty, their moisturizer. One of the only things that has made this like manageable, uh, which has been nice been nice to have that but I've been looking for like dandruff remedies like things that I've been changing my shampoos trying to like figure out like what am I what do I what can I do to make this not terrible okay camera died so I went ahead and just finished up this eye and did like the the foundation the concealer on my eyelids to um to go ahead and get ready for the glitter I'm gonna let it dry down for just a hot second and while it's drying down I'm gonna talk really quickly about the products um so First thing, if you guys have tips on scalp health, anything, products that you like that have like really helped dandruff, things like that, I'm desperate at this point. Like I'm like, I've put like baking soda in my hair because it's supposed to like help because it's antifungal and act antibacterial. So I've been trying to do that. I don't know, I don't know. So I finally, I was looking up well-reviewed products. I found, I know I've gotten from, uh, I think it's Chlorine. Um, I know I've gotten like sample size products from them in like Ulta stuff. But I found these, um, I bought them off Amazon. They were each $20, so it's like $60 worth of products in there. Honestly, when I'm spending $20 on shampoos, normally I'm like looking for like the sales with the leaders. I'm desperate. So I got the anti-irritating uh, shampoo with peony, the conditioner with peony, and then I got the spray, which I actually, it showed up this morning and I already showered. So I went ahead and sprayed this in my hair before I got ready. So we'll see, I'm gonna use this just every day. Uh, so yeah. If you've used this and you like it, great. If uh, if you hate it, then great. I won't reorder it if you don't think it's worth it. But I'm just, any suggestions, would love to hear that. I did pick up, when I bought the uh, Urban Decay palette, uh, I had like $50 in gift cards. We had to spend 75 to get $15 off. And this was on sale for 25. And of course the palette is like $49. The Urban Decay palette was like $49. So I picked up this uh, KVD, which is, you know, formerly Kat Von D's brand, because and nobody wants to buy Kat Von D's stuff anymore. So uh, they were bought out, no longer affiliated with her, which is the only reason why we'll buy it. Um, but uh, this is like, uh, it's the Edge of Reality eyeshadow palette, and it's supposed to be like 100% like repurposed. So like the, the packaging is a little bit like flimsier than what you would expect normally from higher end brands, but I, because it's all recycled, I'm all about that. Gorgeous palette though. Really excited to do a look with this, super pretty. Yeah, I'm super, super jazzed. I think there's a lot of cool stuff to do with that. And then I've also been hearing, have you guys heard about the new Kat Von D foundation? Or the, I keep, KVD. I have to call it KVD because I, have you heard about the new KVD foundation? Because um, people are going crazy for it on the internet and I think it's one that I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and spend 40 bucks to get it um, because I wanna try it. Uh, so yes, if you use that, let me know. And then finally, I've been I've been using Shutterfly a lot. I've been making just a ton of picture type stuff. I made Nikki a blanket for Valentine's Day with pictures of us from like different trips and stuff. Love it. They're always doing sales and they do free gifts. They charge shipping normally, but they will give you like shipping discounts sometimes. So it's like, it's, you can do a lot of cool stuff for like pretty cheap. Um, so I got like wedding invitations printed because uh, we are getting married in October. I only got invitations so our families can have them because it's literally gonna be like 12 people and they're Nikki's immediate family and my immediate family. <laughs> but I wanted them to have like a little, like that formal invitation to remember the day by. So I did get some printed. They weren't very expensive because I only did a set of 10, which is about the smallest you can do. But one of the things that I designed, when I do like the Hall Week, I have notebooks where I write down the stories that I tell. Um, and so I was like looking at what they offered and I was able to design this. I'm gonna do it in front so you guys can see. It's a notebook and it's got like, you know, nice little notebook pages in it. But I was able to design it with like, our picture from Hall Week last year. And then this was the dream big is like, they, they only had certain designs and this was the only one that kind of fit our aesthetic. So like, you can't take that off. That's just, that's gotta be there. Um, but it says Dark Angel Beauty at the bottom, which I was obviously able to customize. And it's super cute. Like I'm super excited about what I've been able to do with Shutterfly. Um, it was normally, normally they're $20 to do these, but it was 50% off and I had to, spend like an extra, basically it was like an extra 10 bucks to get free shipping anyway. So I went ahead and, and decided to do this, even though I would never in my right mind normally pay $10 for a notebook. Um, I decided what the hell. So yeah, I'm really, I really, it came today and I'm excited about how it turned out. Um, if you guys want to see some of the other Shutterfly stuff that I've made, I'll show you. But it's, I mean, it's not that exciting. It's like, mainly it's like free gifts and stuff like that. Magnets and mag, mag magnets, magnets and stuff like that. Um, little like framed pictures. I've gotten a couple of those. So yeah, yeah. 
I love Shutterfly. I've just recently discovered it's it's weird how changing like like being in my own house. I I was starting to feel it a little bit, but now I really feel like all I want to do is like decorate and like buy throw pillows and kitchenware and it's cra it's craziness. So now this is dried down. We're gonna jump back into it. Rapid fire off some more topics that I think might be interesting to share with you guys on this here channel that we do. Wedding. I think maybe like one episode or one tutorial where we kind of talk about like what our plans are for the wedding. If you guys are interested in that, might be fun. Um, if you're not, that's fine. Cause it is gonna be really, really small, very intimate, very small at the house. I'm excited about that though. So like personally, I, I'm happy. You know, I'm regretting the decision. So the peony, no, the peony, <laughs> that's peony. The pony up shade turned it a little bit more gray. And I think going with the silver would have been better for the aesthetic. It is what it is now we've committed to the gold, but it's, I mean, it's pretty. It's just, I don't feel like it's, cohesive. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll work on it as I talk. I'll work on it to fix it. Um, but yeah, so the wedding, uh, that's a topic we could talk about. 90 day fiance. I have a lot of feelings about this season. If you want to hear me go over couple by couple, how I feel about them, I will do that. If you don't want to hear it, I won't do it. But that I've also been, uh, I've also been watching like old school reality TV shows. Uh, like we're talking like rock of love, stuff like that the real the real trash from the early 2000s that might be fun to talk about as well oh i had more topics that i thought of that i was like oh yeah oh yes uh honestly where i'm doing a majority of my shopping now is uh lidl and aldi uh which are both uh they're both german grocery stores that we have here in uh where we are in north carolina they do like really discounted they do their own brands and so it's very discounted but it's really good quality i love them i love them for grocery shopping but they also carry great like random items that they change each week. So clothes, houseware, like all our outdoor mats pretty much all have come from those two stores. So if you want me to kind of talk about that too, that might be fun. Cool stuff that we've gotten there. Also cool stuff we've gotten off Amazon uh, cause we've been buying a lot of Amazon stuff lately too because Jeff Bezos doesn't have enough money. Wait, didn't he retire? He stepped, he down. stepped down, but still, yeah, we, you know. Okay, final look. Really happy with this palette. It's, I think it was a great buy. Um, definitely, I looked at some of the past Naked palettes that they've released um, recently. And this is, I think, definitely my favorite that they've done in a really long time. Super excited about it. It actually is one that I would consider um, possibly using to do my wedding makeup because that's something I've been really thinking about lately, um, which also might be a cool video to like do like a test run of what, I, what I'm kind of thinking um, for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was like very discombobulated and very wild. I'm going to actively try to be better about filming regularly. I'm sorry, I miss you guys. Um, I know it sucks when I like post like five videos in a week and then nothing for like two weeks, um, which has kind of been what's going on lately. Uh, there's some stuff that I wanna start do doing to get myself to feel like human again. Uh, 2020 kind of like, so much happened and so much didn't happen at the same time. Like we had the house and we, we got into the house and all that, but at the same time, like we weren't going anywhere or doing anything. Um, and so it's been weird. Like, it's just like, there's a lot of stuff that I would do every day that I don't do now, like get ready and, and you know, put on makeup. And, and I, because I've gotten so comfortable not doing it, I think I've kind of like started to miss that part of me. So I'm gonna be really trying to just like for my own sanity, get back into more of a routine of doing that. And hopefully that means I'll be filming a lot more. If I, if I disappear again, I'm sorry. Know that it's, uh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please share uh, like what you want me to talk about. It's been really hard because we have been going so long without sharing videos to like even remember like what I have talked about and what I haven't talked about on the channel. So anything, any other suggestions, anything you guys have, it doesn't have to be something I talked about in this video. If you just wanna hear like, if you wanna ask questions, if you want, I, I, I'm, open, I'm open to anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I definitely would check this out. Really good palette. I'm very happy with it. 49 bucks, I know is, uh, I mean, it's about average for palettes, but based on what I've been seeing with trends in Urban Decay, if you give it a couple months, it'll probably will be 50% off <laughs> because there's been quite a few palettes that I've picked up to do reviews of. And then like three months later, they are 50% off. So the stoned, the Precious Gems or Stone Palette or whatever it was that I did a couple months ago is currently like $27 at Ulta. So if you if you like that one and it's on sale right now, yeah. All right. Um, oh, damn, that's what I didn't talk about. Ulta, Ulta made me mad. I'll talk about that in another video. Ulta made me mad. That's how we're ending this. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.